day 16, which is how we do it. Ironic that I start, well, I've been starting most of them in the dark, but welcome to the 31 Days of Witchcraft Challenge. My name is Autumn. How you doing? Today's question, ironically, back to my ironic part, dealing with the uh, darkness when my video starts, is uh, well, quite simple. Also, I just want to point out, come on, I finally claimed it. Okay. Um, is, uh, what time, day or night, do you prefer to do your magical spell work? And I thought, ooh, well, for me it's always been nighttime, but that, I think, has to do with my own schedule more than anything else. Um... always been a night owl. I think I've gone over this a couple hundred times in various videos. And, uh, so it just always seemed natural. I was already up to do my work at night. Um, however, I know that there are a lot of, there is a lot of information out there about what time of day or night to do certain spells, certain using certain deities, days of the week, this one candle of mine just will not light. I've had these, along with that one, elementally type ones forever, and I've never burned them, which is becoming quite evident from this one, which won't stay lit. <laughs> hey, what's the quickest way to pause a video? Minimize it. <laughs> Anyway, this one candle won't stay lit because the wick got damaged at some point in time. So, it's a work in progress. But yeah, there are books dedicated to what days of the week, what hours of the day to do certain magic. Um, nothing wrong with that. There are people who, who will only perform magic at the witching hour. Then there's schools of thought of when that witching hour is. Is it midnight? Is it 3 a.m.? Is it 1 a.m.? I mean, there's that. Um, there's folks that do magic during the day. I think I've just always felt a connection with nighttime. To me, it feels like when you're out in the black, when you're out in the dark, it's like a hug. You can just feel it all around you, and it makes you feel like you're cozy, warm, in bed. And I know that sounds weird, but yeah, it always made me feel the most comfortable, so I can be the most honest when I'm trying to work my magic. Um, so, yeah. Um, most of my magic is fairly simple petition, you know, and burn lately, so it makes sense to do it outside, although in my, this incense burner, I do have some burnt offering ash that I'm saving, well, with incense ash, to finally make my own black salt, which I still have not done. Bad witch. Um, so, yeah, I guess the simple answer to the question is, yes, I do my magic at night. However, if I was up during the day and felt inspired to work a spell or was inspired to do something along those lines, yeah, I would totally do it during the day. Because it's about intention. And when you have the time. It's me. I mean, there are other people out there that follow very strict rules and adherences as to when they perform magic and when they don't. And nothing wrong with that either. So... That's what I love about this craft, is that, really, short of certain things, certain aspects, you really, there really is no wrong way. Yeah. So, that's the light and dark of it, if you will.
I'm going to turn the light on on this camera so you can see these. These, I think I mentioned already, were made ages ago for me. And it's such a simple craft that I really need to replicate for myself. Or at least do it in the tall jar scale. But, you know, all of the elemental symbols, obviously this is my favorite, are on these. Isn't that cool? They usually sit up on my altar. But my altar is full of a lot of stuff that I never light or do anything with. And I need to start changing it. This is about, you know, activity. We, we, we make, we manifest the things we want to happen. And if I just sit here and with my pretty altar and never function it, then, you know, am I being a plaguing? Ha ha ha. I'll put a definition of that word down below. As opposed to a fluffy bunny that has changed in my mind over the years between someone who was, again, being like a plaguen and someone who's just, I think I would almost say new, new to the craft. Eager, eager, eager is where I'd go because bunnies are always eager. And thumping. <laughs> Sorry, I see desert um, jackrabbits and uh, cottontails most of the night. And it's still my favorite thing in the world when you approach them, even in, if you're going nice and slow in a vehicle. So, you know, you're not going to hit them. And they lock eyes with you, and then they just thump before they bounce off. That's just the greatest. All right, I'm digressing. So, day 16. Do you do your magic during the day or during the night? I'm curious to watch your responses. So, until next time, witches, blessed be.